So let's have a sample problem now. So we have here an uh, octane that is C8H18, so that is burned in a uh, 50% excess air. Okay. Compute the following. So A, we have what is the stoichiometric air fuel ratio for the ideal, and B, and the air fuel ratio with excess air. Then for let us see. So if the engine has a brake specific fuel consumption of 0 0.203 kilogram of fuel per kilowatt hour, and it develops a uh, 200 horsepower at 2000 rpm. So, what is the volume of air at the ambient condition of 1 bar and 32 degrees Celsius? Okay, so how are we doing going to attack the problem here? No. So, first thing first, again, we need to write our equation for our fuel in air or the stoichiometric solution we have the equation now writing that one no so we have so first step so i'm gonna write it here our first step so we have one okay so step one so we need to write our equation of your fuel okay that will be plus your air. Then we have your product output. No? So our fuel dito as a problem, we have your octane, which is CHH18. So I'm writing that one, our fuel. So we have CHH18. No? Then our air, so remembering from our previous lecture, so that will be plus no, the value of A or the unknown value of A, okay? Then multiply by our oxygen, O2, plus 3.76, we have your nitrogen, N2. Then we have your product, which is your B, CO2 plus our C, so that we have your H2O, then plus your A again, which is multiplied to 3.76, we have your nitrogen N2. Okay. So this is now stoichiometric without your excess air. So, ito yun. Later on, we'll do the stoichiometric no, solution with, stoic, uh, with, with excess air. So, ito is stoichiometric, uh, uh, let's say this is the combustion formula or stoichiometric solutions without an excess, uh, without an excess air. So, later on, we'll we tackle that one. So, the, I'm gonna write here, this is uh, without uh excess air no. so next we go now for step two okay so we do mass balance no, no. so ano ba meron tayo dito? so let's start with carbon okay so for the carbon so you will notice here we have C8, H8, uh, C8 so on the other side. So again, so remembering, so we assume uh, for liquid fuels, we are going to assume one mole. Okay. So we have one mole of fuel. So we have here one mole of fuel. So we're going to multiply that one. So that will be eight. No? Eight times one. So one, mo one mole of fuel. We have one mole. Fuel. Then 
this is will be equal to doon sa kabila we have your product so ano nakita natin doon sa product so in terms of carbon so we have only c on the other side so take disregard this one this is unknown this is our unknown okay so let's try to change the color para hindi tayo hindi kayo medyo ma confuse so let is a and b and the c so yung red color that represents yung unknown natin unknown value okay so that will be 8 times 1 so equate natin doon sa kabila mass balance so we have your so yung carbon natin doon so we have your molecules which is 1 okay then multiply it by b which is yung unknown so we have your b and this is times 1 now okay so we can say that the value ng b natin is equal to 8 so our b now is equal to this is 8 okay now um for the other so let's go to under uh, no, property we have your hydrogen so let's go to hydrogen so for the hydrogen so we have 18 no? you have the molecules here is 18 then multiply it by one mole okay. so we have 18 times 1 which is equal now doon sa kabila naman for our product so we have yung hydrogen na meron dito we have only one dito part na itong hydrogen the other wala na rin so we have the molecule of 2 so that would be 2 times c okay so the 2 times c so our c now is equal to So that will be 18 divided by, by 2. So we have 9. Okay. Now let's go to oxygen. So yun ang mga kailangan natin dito. So meron na tayong hydrogen. We get already the value of hydrogen. Then let's go to oxygen. So for our oxygen. No. So, for our oxygen, we have, dito sa side nito, we have O2. Okay. So, that will be 2A. 2A. So, that will be equal to, so, for the product, so, oxygen na meron tayo sa kabila, we have 2B. So, this is 2B. Then plus, uh, meron. then meron pa tayo dito, we have your C, okay? So that will be C la, okay? Since one lang naman yan siya. So yung molecules ng oxygen is only one here. Uh, so I'm going to write here one para masundan niyo clearly, okay? Then now uh, we can compute for the value of A. No, since given na yung B, nakuha na natin yung B pala, and nakuha natin yung C. So we can solve now the value of your A. So ang A natin, that will be equal now to 2 times the value of B, which is your 8. Okay, then plus the value of c which is 9 times 1 okay. then divided by the value of um, ba, uh, divided by value of 2 so we have the value of a okay, is equal now to 12.5 so we have the value of 12.5 okay for the value of a uh, for the value of a now let's go for the solution no so for letter a yung unknown okay so for our letter a so stoichiometric 
uh, without uh, oh, stoichiometric air fuel ratio so that will be for ideal now for ideal so okay so let's have a stoichiometric um, solution for this one okay so rewriting no 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 sorry so rewriting we have your fuel okay so we have your fuel then we have plus your air so we have your product no so our fuel which is your c8 c8 h18 so plus your a since mayroon na tayo nakuha yan, so we have we can rewrite that one that will be 12.5 dito then we're going to multiply it by your oxygen which is your o2 so rewriting yung equation natin dito kanina so we have your o2 plus 3.76 n2 okay okay so rewriting that one so the value of your c which is 9 no so 9 h2o then plus the value of a which is again that will be 12.5 then multiply by 3.76 so this is your n2 okay so i-combine natin natin yung ano yung 12.5 we multiply it doon sa Low. So we can rewrite that the young equation natin into uh, C8 H18. No. So that will be 12.5. You have your O2, then 3.76 uh, multiplied by 12.5. So we have 47. So you have your N2 data. So, equating that one, so that will be 8 CO2 plus, we have your 9 H2O plus, ito ang value nito again, 12.5 times 3.76, so we have 47. So, you have your nitrogen. So, we have now yung equation natin for the combustion of your fuel. So, with your air, uh, with your fuel, and again, this is your, so again, we're going to distinguish, this is now your fuel, so take note of that one, palagi, and this is your air, and we have here your product. So, this is your product of combustion, okay? Now, for the ideal stoichiometric, tinatanong kanina, so for letter A, so for ideal, so this is yung part na wala siyang excess air. Okay. So later on, punta tayo with excess air naman. So for now, we'll do in ideal air fuel ratio. So ideal air fuel ratio. So that is equal to the mass of air divided by the mass of fuel. Okay. Also, we can express that one by uh, moles of air. Yung air natin, we can express that one by moles of air times the molecular weight of air. And this one, we can express this one, the moles of fuel times the molecular weight of fuel. So rewrite nothing equation. So we have moles of air times the, this is molecular weight, molecular weight of fuel, uh, molecular weight of air, then divided by the moles of air times the molecular weight of, oh, sorry, this is, okay, I'm going to change this one, this is, this is fuel times the molecular weight of the fuel. Okay, so equate at one. 
uh, we have the for the moles of air, no? Okay, for the moles of uh, air, we have ito, so that will be 12.5. So your equation will be all multiplied by 12.5. So rewriting that one, so it will be 12.5 dito. Then close parenthesis, nothing that one. So molecular weight of your oxygen, so we have two, no? So we have moles, uh, molecules of two times the molecular weight. So that will be two times the molecular weight of oxygen, so that will be 16. Okay. So I'm writing here 16. Then for our nitrogen, okay. Closing this one now for our nitrogen that will be again 47. No? Okay, since so multiply it by moles non uh, nitrogen, so that will be two. So then the molecular weight of our nitrogen so, so that will be 28. So I'm going to erase this one. Multiply it no, number nine. So multiply it by 28. Okay. So on unit that we have here, both sides, no? So this one and this one are kilogram per kilogram of mole. Okay, so I'm going to divide this one by the mole, so you will not. Uh, so again, so we'll be using the moles of you will, so we're going to assume as one. So I'm gonna write here as one, so for the moles of you will. Then I'm gonna multiply this one by the molecular weight of the fuel. So that will be your fuel item, which is this one. Okay, that will be 12, no? So 12 times 8, so 8 is the moles, 